when it comes to news, most informed people watch seven. This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News, Queensland's largest independent television news organisation. Good evening, Nev Roberts with the latest news. Here's the latest news. I'm Frank Warwick. We're standing by now to... Four men in court over the TWU election, a man in court for shooting a policeman, and American astronauts walk in space. A very good evening, everyone. Welcome to Seven National News. I'm Mike Higgins. I'm Nev Roberts. Good evening. Good evening, welcome to Seven's News World. I'm Nev Roberts. And I'm Jan Rayner. Good evening. Good morning, Alex Smith with the latest from the Seven Newsroom.
Tonight, another bomb blast rocks central London. A record fleet sets off in the Sydney to Hobart Classic. And John Fitzgerald brings Australia level at the Davis Cup final. Good evening, Queensland. Welcome to Seven National News. I'm Nev Roberts. Good evening. Tonight's reaction to the Grim Reaper commercial warning on AIDS. Also tonight, a million dollar fire in a Brisbane street known as Death Alley. And in sport, Dick Johnson in trouble over his new turbocharger. Good evening and welcome to Seven National News. First fleet reenactment voyages weigh anchor in Botany Bay. And a close call for a fighter jet pilot at Amberley Air Base. Seven Nightly News. With Frank Warwick and Simone Simmons. Good evening. And good evening to you too, Simone. Welcome to the team. Thanks, Frank. Good evening. Tonight, a date set for the Vasta vote as the National Party licks its wounds from the weekend by-election. And an internal police investigation into the alleged police bashing of a Gold Coast teenager. Seven Nightly News with Frank Warwick and Kay McGrath. Good evening. Welcome. Tonight, Bob Hawke carpets Paul Keating over his leadership comments and Russ Hins to face a court hearing despite claims he's dying of cancer. Seven Nightly News with Kay McGrath and Bill McDonald. Good evening. Tonight, a man charged with the murder of a 16-year-old at Kingston overnight. And fire rages through the Sanitarium Health Foods factory on Brisbane's south side. Seven Nightly News with Jason Cameron and Anne Snell. Good evening. Firefighters are still investigating the cause of a blaze. Tonight, freedom for the kidnapped hunter of the Lost Ark and a surprise assault by Yugoslav army tanks. And the West Coast Eagles into their first AFL Grand Final. Seven Nightly News with Gary Wilkinson and Peter Mears. Good evening. Australian archaeologist Dr Alan Roberts... Tonight, Premier Goss names names in the travel rorts affair. And John McEnroe transformed from tennis villain to hero. And good evening from Kay McGrath and Frank Warwick. Tonight, Queensland's police chief embroiled in more controversy. Calls for tougher dog controls as surgeons battle to repair a mauled boy's face and the huge burden Australia's Great Olympics hope will carry to Barcelona. Good evening, Kay McGrath and Frank Warwick with Seven Nightly News. With Frank Warwick and Kay McGrath, this is Seven Nightly News. Tonight, police reinforcements rushing to the Gold Coast. New fears in Australia's beef export crisis. And a blow for England on the eve of the first test. Good evening. With Frank Warwick 
This is 7 Nightly News. Tonight, a police hunt after a woman is gunned down in a Queensland hotel. A family mauled by their pet Doberman and a spectacular start to the Brisbane to Gladstone. Good evening, everyone. Police in the central Queensland town of Calliope near Gladstone... I'm Carolyn Tucker. This is Today Tonight. It was the scheme to make a fortune selling technology overseas, but ended up costing Queenslanders millions of dollars. Also, the North Queensland ringer who wanted to help down and out kids, but his dream may soon be over. It's a big sacrifice you've made. Oh, you see these youngsters do well, and then yeah, it's not a sacrifice. That's it, you're right. Good on you. Keep, keep, keep. Don't put on his head. I must win, I must win. Not just for myself, for Natasha, for country. Even the count in this round. The collapse of a golden casket venture into overseas markets. With Gary Wilkinson and Kim Watkins, this is 7 Nightly News. Tonight, Greens outraged at police inaction at the Port Hinchinbrook development site. Schoolies week chaos on the Gold Coast. And an unknown Scotsman wins the Australian PGA. Good evening. Seven Nightly News with Kay McGrath. Tonight, Pauline Hanson and Cathy Freeman trade blows. Two little boys charged over shocking Gold Coast vandalism. And Australia in the box seat in the one-day decider. It's all right. Good evening. The bank that has destroyed our lives. Yeah, no, I'll have to walk away from it, I'm afraid. They've given us seven days notice. We could... We could get us at that today. Soon we have to vacate the house. Just how understanding is your bank? With Kay McGrath, this is 7 Nightly News. Tonight, the first official interest rate rise in five years. Seven dead in a US workplace massacre. Aussie battlers behind the Melbourne Cup champ. And the French accused of biting. Good evening. Australia's home loan... With Frank Warwick and Kay McGrath, this is 7 News. Tonight, police shoot dead a crazed man after a terrifying rampage. A federal minister afflicted by Legionnaire's disease. Mackay on alert as big crocodiles creep closer. And Origin gladiators ready for battle in Sydney. Good evening, everyone. Special 7 News presentation with Frank Warwick and Kay McGrath. Good evening, everyone. We now continue our 7 News live coverage of the terrorist attacks in America. Tonight, a gunman kills two and wounds five and hits their boat. With Kay McGrath, this is 7 News. Good evening. Tonight, a potentially deadly floor. With Kay McGrath and Rod Young, this is 7 News. Good evening. Good evening and welcome to this special edition of 7 News. Tonight, it's my pleasure to welcome Rod Young to the team. Tonight, testing times for engineers. This is 7 News. With Rod Young and Kay McGrath. Good evening. This is 7 News. With Kay McGrath and Patrick Condren. Good evening. A teenager is fighting for her life. To 
tonight, three young boys killed. This is 7 News with Colleen Douglas. Good evening. Tonight claims Campbell Newman's plan. This is 7 News with Sharon Gadella. Good evening. Tonight. This is 7 News with Rod Young and Kay McGrath. Good evening and welcome to this special extended edition of 7 News. Brisbane and Ipswich are tonight awash. Seven News with Patrick Condren and Talitha Cummins. Good evening. Queensland's flood crisis has intensified with the damage bill to roads and infrastructure heading towards one billion dollars. Tonight, almost a dozen people rescued. This is Seven News with Gillian Whiting. Good evening. It's been a day of rescues in southern Queensland. This is 7 News with Rod Young and Kay McGrath. Good evening. This is 7 News with Sharon Gadella. Good evening. Coming to you tonight live from Southbank. This is 7 News with Rod Young and Kay McGrath. Good evening. The last in a series of supercell storms. This is 7 News with Patrick Condren and Angie Asimus. Good evening. It's been a terrible start to 2013 on the roads. This is 7 News with Kay McGrath and Bill McDonald. Good evening. A remarkable story of survival has emerged in far north Queensland. This is 7 News with Sharon Gadilla and Bill McDonald. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. A severe storm has battered the towns of Chinchilla and Tara. This is 7 News with Rod Young and Kay McGrath. Good evening. This is 7 News. Good evening. South East Queensland is bracing for the second heat wave of the summer. This is 7 News. Good evening. Chilling new video has been released. Across Queensland, this is 7 News. Good evening. A Caboolture grandmother accused of trying to murder two children has been granted bail. This is Seven's Afternoon News, live and local across South East Queensland. Hello, thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Kendall Gilding. This is Seven News Queensland. Good evening. The Police Commissioner has revealed Queensland officers... This is 7 News Queensland with Kendall Gilding. Good afternoon. A huge fire has forced the evacuation. Live from our Brisbane headquarters, this is 7 News with Sharon Gadella and Bill McDonald. Good evening. We start with exclusive pictures of the moment, police. Live from our Brisbane headquarters, this is 7 News with Kay McGrath and Rod Young. Good evening. Just six days out from the election. Live from our Surfers Paradise headquarters, this is 7 Gold Coast News with Rod Young. Good evening and welcome to 7's Gold Coast News. Great to be with you. Live from our Gold Coast headquarters, this is 7 News. Good evening. CCTV cameras have captured the dramatic moment. This is 7 News Queensland with Kendall Gilding. Good afternoon. A police officer has allegedly been shot at... This is 7 News 
with Katrina Blowers. Good afternoon. The former principal of an elite Logan City College. This is 7 News Queensland with Amanda Abate. Good afternoon. Two people allegedly fleeing in a stolen car. This is 7 News Queensland. Good afternoon. Queensland students are falling behind. Live from our Brisbane headquarters, this is 7 News with Max Butcher and Katrina Blowers. Good evening. Police say the dramatic end to a pursuit in Brisbane's north. Live from our Brisbane headquarters, this is 7 News with Sharon Gadella and Bill McDonald. Good evening. Residents in the state's north are tonight battling intense floodwaters that have trapped school children. Live. From our Brisbane headquarters, this is 7 News with Sharon Gadella and Max Butcher. Good evening. The South East is about to face the worst bushfire conditions of the season. This is 7 News with Kay McGrath and Max Butcher. Good evening. We begin tonight with breaking news. Live from our Brisbane headquarters, this is 7 News with Kay McGrath. Good evening. Tonight, America is reeling from two horrific gun massacres. Live from our Brisbane headquarters, this is 7 News with Katrina Blowers. Good evening. Police now believe the destructive bushfires in the Gold Coast hinterland. Live from our Surfers Paradise headquarters, this is 7 Gold Coast News with Rod Young and Amanda Abate. Good evening. Every dollar spent by tourists on the coast will soon be tracked. Live from our Surfers Paradise headquarters, this is 7 Gold Coast News with Rod Young. Good evening. Two kite surfers have helped rescue a woman swimmer at Naranek Beach this afternoon. Live from our Surfers Paradise headquarters, this is 7 Gold Coast News with Amanda Abate. Good evening. The Prime Minister and the Premier have been visiting the Hinterland Fire Zone. Live from our Gold Coast headquarters, this is 7 News. Good evening, everyone, and thanks very much for joining us. First tonight...